I'm gonna react to the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. And they keep getting worse as the video goes on. When the first runner spawns in, he already has four levels, meaning that he joined this world before. The runner then starts gathering some wood to make a wooden pickaxe and a wooden sword, which makes this run seem legit, right? He then attacks the iron golem to get some iron and successfully does so. This run is already more legit than 99% of the speedruns I cover on this channel. But then the weirdest thing ever happens. This guy runs into powdered snow and falls down a pit. He sees a sign and it says look left. He then turns around and another sign says that's not left stupid. And then he turns the wrong way again and another sign says other left. So he turns around the right way and finds full netherite armor and six totems of undying. This guy can't be for real right? Well the runner grabs all of the stuff but then realizes he can't get out of the hole he's in since he doesn't have any blocks and only a wooden pickaxe which can't mine through a diamond block. So he just looks up and jumps right up to the surface huh? and then he says Spider-Man probably since he's wearing a Spider-Man skin. This guy can't be serious right? Well next up for the runner is to get into the nether and he finds something on this hill here. Wait what in the world is this? Huh? This speedrun is so cursed. Well the runner then goes into this weird looking nether portal and makes his way into the nether. He then finds a fortress with a blaze spawner, but not just one blaze spawner, but three blaze spawner, Bruh. which the chances of happening are impossible. He then kills some blazes, but only gets up to one blaze rod before finding a bastion. This is important to remember for later on. He doesn't really find anything in the bastion and just goes back to the overworld. But he then makes another portal from obsidian that he didn't have before. Huh? How does he do this? Anyways, he goes back to the overworld, but spawns deep underground. So he goes back into the nether and walks a few blocks before making another nether portal. And this time when he enters it, it cuts to him being in the strong. Bruh. There's no way this guy expects us to believe him, right? But do you remember the one blaze rod from before? Well, he now suddenly has a stack of blaze rods and ender pearls huh? and makes his way into the end with those. Upon entering the end, the runner throws his wooden sword into the air and gets a really overpowered netherite sword back that almost one shots the dragon. He then finishes the dragon with a mid air punch. When this next runner spawns in, everything actually checks out. Huh? He enters this house and takes the bets with him. But do you see this? The runner forgot to delete these XP orbs before starting the run, meaning that this speed run is fake. The runner then enters the blacksmith and finds a chest. Now, what do you think is inside of this chest? It's either A, an iron pickaxe, B, some iron ingots, or C, an elytra with four stacks of rockets. Well, it's actually all of them. This guy can't be for real, right? Well, the runner then crafts a bucket and loots the remaining houses to get some more beds. He then randomly flies up in the air and finds a glass platform with a chest. Huh? And when he lands on it, he almost dies. Bruh. This guy is so bad at Minecraft. Well, inside of the chest is of course OP loot. Who would have guessed? And he uses one totem to get down to the ground. Now he's just flexing on us. Well, the runner now needs to find a way to get into the nether. And eventually he stumbles upon a ruined portal. Seems legit, right? Well, what if I I told you that the chest next to the portal is filled with obsidian, which the chances of happening are impossible. Therefore the runner fixes the portal and he also steals one gold block, so that when he enters the nether and finds a bastion, he can trade with the piglins. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, he now also has a stack of notch apples. Huh? I'm not sure when this happened, I guess he must have cut this out of the video somehow. Well after training for a while, the runner doesn't get any ender pearls, and then almost dies by these piglins. Bruh. Good job speedrunner, you're supposed to be good at the game. The runner then stumbles upon a fortress and he loots this chest. And this is important to remember because after not being able to find a blaze spawner and after walking in circles for a while, he loots the exact same chest and now out of nowhere it's filled with blaze rods. Bruh. This guy really thought we didn't notice. Now that this guy has the blaze rods, he only needs ender pearls, right? Well, when this guy stumbles upon a ruined portal, inside of the chest are 16 ender pearls. Like he totally didn't plant those there himself, since it's impossible to find those naturally. Well, the runner then uses the obsidian he still had from before to make another portal and he goes back to the overworld. He then goes looking for the stronghold and because he can literally fly, he finds it with ease. But then the weirdest thing ever happens. Just look at this portal, something is definitely off. He then enters the end and he can just fly up to the crystals and destroy them. And
and after destroying all of them, he uses those bats he gathered earlier to try and kill the dragon. He almost succeeds, but runs out of bats, so he just finishes it off with his axe. The next runner spawns in and has his crosshair a little bit off to the side, meaning that he joined this world before. He then goes over to this tree to get some wood and uses that wood to make some tools. The runner then finds a lava pool, and most speedrunners would see that as a big win, since they can use that lava to make a nether portal to get into the nether. But this runner does not have a bucket yet, one of the most important items to get into the nether. So the runner uses his opportunity to mine some stone and upgrade his tools. The runner then stumbles upon a village. He mines some hay bales for food and then attacks the iron golem for some iron. Which seems legit, right? Well, what if I told you that when this runner just randomly goes to stand still and you probably didn't see it, but he cheated in three extra iron yeah. ingots. This guy really thought he was sneaky. He then of course crafts a bucket with it and goes back to that lava pool from before. He makes the portal but realizes he doesn't have a flint and steel on him or any other way to light the portal. So what does he do? Well, first he tries to light the portal using wood and lava, but that doesn't work out. So he does another one of those sneaky cuts and now suddenly has a flint and steel in his hotbar. Yeah. yeah, totally legit. Upon entering the nether, the runner spawns in a fortress, which the chances of happening are impossible. And as you can see here as well, the lava is already flowing, meaning that the runner already loaded in these chunks. Since when you load in a new chunk in the nether, the lava always still has to flow down. Well, the runner then almost dies by the blazes and realizes he doesn't have any armor on. So he just randomly mines into the fortress and finds a one in a million chance chest with full iron armor. Yeah. The runner then kills some more blazes and gets up to seven blaze rods before returning to the overrule. But as you can see here, he is at an entirely different place from where he was before going into the portal. Huh? So now all the runner needs to get are some more ender pearls, right? Well, fortunate for him, after entering a random cave, there is an enderman spawner. The chances of this happening are impossible. Well, of course, he easily gets up to 16 ender pearls and goes looking for the end portal. He easily finds it and makes his way into the end. But he's got a surprise waiting for him in the end. Since there are a ton of TNT huh? minecarts underneath the dragon. But that alone wasn't enough to kill the dragon. And even though he could have easily killed the dragon, he just gave up. Huh? When the next runner spawns in, she already has 7 levels and a stack of stake. Meaning this speedrun is fake and that the runner spawned these things in before actually starting the run. The runner then finds this suspicious looking sandstone huh? block. And underneath is a buried treasure containing full netherite armor. Which she definitely planted there herself. She also gets no achievement when equipping the netherite armor. Because she probably equipped it before starting the run. Meaning that the speed run is fake. The runner then stumbles upon a desert village. Which is pretty legit right? Well the runner takes some of the village's beds with her. And loots the blacksmith. Which has some nice tools and weapons. She then kills the iron golem. Makes a bucket. And goes looking for a way to get into the nether. She finds a ruined portal. Which she fixes and makes her way into the nether. She finds an enderman and kills it. But it doesn't drop one or two ender pearls. No. It drops a stack of eyes of ender? Bruh. Like come on dude. At least try to somewhat hide it. Well the runner now has everything she needs right? And she makes her way back into the overworld. Except for that even this ghast doesn't like the fact that she's cheating. Can we get a W in the comments for this Bruh. ghast? Well when this runner finally gets back they throw their eye of ender. Which results in them finding the stronghold pretty quick. And then a little later also the end portal. Upon entering the end the runner finds a sign that says click on here to get creative huh? mode from hero Brian. And then when they do it it actually works. And then they just kill the dragon using an infinite amount of bats. And you should definitely watch this video right here. Because it's really good. 